Shalom, 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 saints of the Most High Yah. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Elder Rufus. I'm a part of the Straightway Truth Ministry, and I am the elder here in Georgia. Um, there's a few things that's on my heart, and I wanted to share them with you. Um, I did not get a chance to share them on the first day broadcast that I do. So I thought the best way to get this information out would be through a video. Again, for those of you that know me, this is not my expertise. I don't do videos. I leave that up to Pastor Dow and some of the other saints that are more comfortable doing it. Um, but this thing's on my heart, and I'm going to share what's on it, and then I'm going to be done. So hopefully it'll be real quick and sweet. But uh, I want to comment on the last uh, fifth day, Thursday, the woman's broadcast that we do um, that is hosted by Sister Ashley and Granny Gaston. Um, I know most of the sisters that are connected to Straightway um, and that are in good standing, they listen faithfully to all the broadcasts and especially that one. They look uh, to that broadcast to be edified. They look to that broadcast to be encouraged. They look to that broadcast to gain wisdom and knowledge and some understanding uh, from a woman's perspective. Uh, that's what it's out there for. It's there to do a little teaching and some instructing too. And, um, you know, as an elder in Israel, um, I think I've earned the right to speak my mind. Um, even if I haven't, I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I listened to that broadcast. Um, some of you might even heard me. Um, I accidentally got picked up, so, you know, on the call, like I was calling, I wasn't. But uh, so some of you knew I was listening in. I do that periodically. I didn't leave that broadcast encouraged. I didn't leave that broadcast feeling like I was inspired. I didn't leave that broadcast uh, feeling like, you know, hey, this is Israel and we're strong. Um, I actually felt like there was a negative bent to that broadcast. I actually felt like When the, when the issue of polygamy, when the uh, topic, not issue, because it ain't an issue, when the topic of multiple wives and plural marriages and polygamy came up, um, it, it, it took the show in a whole different direction. And the atmosphere changed. Um, I think beforehand we were talking about some atonement. They, you guys were talking about atonement and, you know, breastfeeding and things like that, you know, woman stuff. And then that came up. And the show just went a different direction and I listened to it over and over again I listened to it several times and I just I couldn't I'm lost at words sometimes but the, the, the what I'm trying to say is that it just didn't feel like it was an encouraging show you know we talked a lot about the pain behind and I didn't get that I didn't get that I didn't understand that. You know, the truth is the truth. Yah is Yah and he's not changing. And anything in this book I'm going to accept. Now, I'm not saying that some things that I don't have a higher level of understanding, that I don't have to do a little deeper study in and, 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 and wait for the Father to give me more understanding. But there's never an issue of not accepting it. There's never an issue of not receiving it when I clearly see it in the book. And, and the patriarchs, the, the prophets, the, the pastors, the apostles that we love so much, that we claim we love, live this lifestyle. But we have such a hard time accepting it. And to me, there's two things that's funny about all of this. One, it ain't even been taught. Not in this tribe, it hasn't. Pastor Dodd has not taught on the subject of polygyny. He's brought it up. He's made points. But he has not taught a sermon on it yet. And then the second point is that it's not even a commandment. You're not even commanded to live this lifestyle. It is an option. Now, for one, I thank you. I thank the Father that he chose that option. That he chose to have more than one wife. That he's coming back. For ten brides, but only five of them are gonna be prepared. I thank I thank the father that he's that way. 
But we got a man that's leading us in this tribe that ain't even taught on this subject yet. Just brought up valid biblical points. Just showing you in the scriptures what it says. And then in the scriptures, it's not even commanding you to do it. But we got all these Jezebel spirits flying out all over the place. All these Ahab spirits just raise it up. And I thank the Father for that too. So this video uh, is a voice of my disappointment in the show last week. I didn't care for the atmosphere that came with this show. I really thought that the conversation took a real negative bent. It, it, it highlighted the pain, which it should have been highlighting the beauty and the brilliancy and, you know, the love of the Father to perfectly lay this thing out the way he has. But instead, I felt like we talked more about the pain that's involved. And, how, and, and the only reason we have pain is because our hearts and our minds ain't made up. See, there's no pain for me associated with this truth. There are things in this Bible that I don't know. You know, I didn't know about this. As much as I read the Bible when it came out, I, I saw it, but I didn't know that this was something we could apply today. But when I got it, what, was there, you know, levels of fears or misunderstandings? Yeah, but there was never no pain involved. The word don't bring pain. Disobeying the word brings pain. Not accepting the word brings pain. So, I, I'm, again, I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed in the atmosphere of that show. And I'm disappointed from this perspective. I don't believe that the women in Israel could have been encouraged by what they heard coming from that show. Now, there were a few calls that came in that were very encouraging. Their testimonies, the callers, their personal testimonies, they were very encouraging to see that their minds were made up in this thing to follow the Father. And the beauty, one of the sisters even talked about the beauty of raising children in Israel. And she has children now. But she's excited about the fact that her husband could possibly take another wife so that they could raise children in Israel the right way. That's the kind of stuff we should have been talking about. Because that's the purpose of it. Not to highlight me sharing my husband. Not to highlight the personal things I get. Well, I can have a little help doing this. And, uh, uh, you know, I may have more time to myself. And Really? Again, I was just disappointed. I was very, very disappointed in the atmosphere that came from the show when this topic came up. And I'm saying to all the women in Israel and the men to get your hearts right. Get your hearts right, because it's going to be a whirlwind when it actually does get preached to us. And I'm glad that the Father is really, truly exposing what's deep, deep down in a lot of y'all hearts. I'm watching. Hallelujah. I'm watching. And I know all the real men of Israel are watching too. Because we're running this race and we're not going to be stopped from running it. But I need to know who with me. 100%. And I need to know who having issues. And I thank the Father that just the bringing up of this topic has exposed those people that are having issues. Sisters, get your act together. This is the most high's way. Brothers, get your act together. Because some of y'all may be called to cover some of these sisters. All right? And you can't just be any old kind of man and cover these sisters and these children. Man, we just need to mature and grow up, Israel. And that's the stuff that's hurting my heart. So, bless y'all, saints. Um, hopefully somebody get encouraged from this. I know it kind of sounds down, but at the end of the day, I said it to be encouraging. Because I want us to focus on the beauty of what the Father's doing through His Word and how He's setting it up. Not the so-called self-inflicted and self-induced pain from us not receiving what he's doing. All right. Shalom, shalom, shalom.